Did you know that our human ancestors practiced inbreeding? Quite a shocking revelation, isn't it? Welcome to the fascinating realm of human evolution, a journey that has captivated our collective curiosity for generations. As we delve into the past, we find ourselves facing intriguing questions, tracing the footprints of our ancestors, and unraveling the mysteries hidden within our DNA. One such mystery takes us to a time when our early human ancestors walked the earth. You may have heard of the concept of inbreeding, yes, the practice of mating within a close family. While it sounds taboo to our modern sensibilities, evidence suggests that inbreeding was a common practice among our forebears. This notion might make you feel uncomfortable, perhaps even a little squeamish. After all, inbreeding is something we associate with genetic problems and health defects. But let's remember, we're talking about a time far removed from our own, a time when the rules were different and survival was the name of the game. Now you might be wondering, where does this evidence come from? What leads researchers to believe that our early ancestors engaged in such practices? The answer lies in the remnants of our past, the silent storytellers of our history. Fossils. Fossils are like time capsules preserving the stories of species long gone. Among these ancient remnants researchers have found telltale signs of inbreeding in early human species. These clues have been carefully extracted, studied and interpreted, painting a picture of our past that is as captivating as it is complex. This revelation comes from an unexpected source, fragments of an ancient human skull. Now, as we move forward, prepare to embark on a journey back in time, to a site called Zhujiayao, located in the Nihiwan Basin of northern China. There, we'll uncover the mystery of a hundred-thousand-year-old skull, and what it tells us about our early human ancestors. So, stay tuned as we continue unraveling the fascinating mystery of human evolution. Our story begins at a site named Sujiayao, located in the Nihewan Basin of northern China. Here, fragments of an approximately 100,000-year-old human skull have been uncovered, a discovery that has sparked a fascinating dialogue within the scientific community. This ancient artifact, now known as Sujiayao 11, is a testament to the complexity of human evolution. The skull is notable for a distinct deformity, a hole at its top, a disorder known as an enlarged parietal foramen. This condition mirrors a modern human deformity caused by a rare genetic mutation. In today's world, this mutation occurs in about one of every 25,000 human births, making it a rare glimpse into the past. This mutation disrupts the bone formation process preventing small holes in the prenatal brain case from closing, a process that usually completes within the first five months of fetal development. But this individual appears to have lived into middle age, suggesting that the deformity wasn't lethal. While the skull deformity can sometimes lead to cognitive deficits, the age of the individual suggests any deficits probably would have been minor. Now you might wonder, how does a 100,000-year-old skull with a rare congenital deformity tie into the bigger picture of human evolution? The answer lies in the prevalence of such abnormalities in the fossil record. The skulls of humans from the Pleistocene epoch, roughly 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago, show an unusually high occurrence of genetic abnormalities like this skull hole deformity. This suggests that early human populations were small, relatively isolated, and likely inbred. However, the extent of this inbreeding remains unclear and probably untestable. But if these small inbred populations did exist, it would challenge many of our genetic inferences about when humans split off from the tree of life. This skull is one among many that display rare or unknown congenital abnormalities. The discovery at Shujiayao adds another piece to the fascinating puzzle of our human heritage, reminding us that the journey of evolution is far from straightforward. The skull of Shujiayao 11 suggests something significant about ancient human populations. It presents us with a compelling narrative of our past, etched in the very bones of our ancestors. The presence of a congenital deformity known as an enlarged parietal foramen in this 100,000-year-old skull hints at a fascinating if somewhat uncomfortable aspect of early human behavior. Inbreeding. Why inbreeding, you ask? Well, this specific deformity is typically the result of a rare genetic mutation, one that can be traced back to small, isolated populations. In such groups, the limited gene pool often leads to the propagation of rare genetic traits. The skull's owner, therefore, was likely a member of a small, relatively isolated group of early humans, where inbreeding was a common occurrence. This is a narrative that is further supported by the frequency of such congenital abnormalities in the ancient human fossil record. Now let's talk about this deformity. 
The enlarged parietal foramen is a condition that obstructs bone formation in the skull, preventing small holes in the prenatal brain case from closing. This process typically occurs within the first five months of fetal development. Today, such genetic anomalies are rare, appearing in about one of every 25,000 human births. Yet, this ancient individual didn't just survive, they lived into middle age. This suggests that their condition, while unusual, was not necessarily lethal. Of course it's possible that this deformity could have led to cognitive deficits but the evidence indicates that any such deficits were likely minor. Through the lens of Shujayao 11, we're offered a glimpse into the lives of our ancestors, into small, isolated populations navigating the challenges of survival. This skull stands as a testament to their resilience, their ability to endure and adapt, even in the face of genetic adversity. Despite this deformity, the individual lived into middle age, indicating that the condition was not necessarily lethal. It's a remarkable testament to the tenacity of life, and a poignant reminder of the complex and intertwined tapestry of our shared human history. Shujiao 11 is not an isolated case, in fact it's part of a larger pattern. This pattern, intriguingly, stretches across the Pleistocene epoch, a period spanning approximately 2.6 million to 12,000 years ago. During this extensive period, a strikingly high occurrence of genetic abnormalities has been observed in human fossils. These abnormalities, much like the unusual skull hole deformity seen in Shujiao 11, are evidence of something quite unexpected in our evolutionary past. You see, these deformities are not random. They hint at a story of small, isolated and likely inbred human populations. To understand why, let's delve into the mechanics of genetic disorders. Typically, these conditions are caused by recessive alleles, versions of genes that only manifest when an individual inherits two copies, one from each parent. In larger populations, these harmful alleles are often masked by their dominant counterparts. But in small, isolated groups, the odds of inheriting two copies of a recessive allele increase dramatically. Now you might wonder why inbreeding would be so prevalent among our ancestors. The answer lies in the harsh realities of the Pleistocene epoch. This was a time of immense environmental upheavals, with glaciers advancing and retreating, forcing human populations to fragment, isolate, and adapt. In such circumstances the options for mates could be severely limited, leading to inbreeding. These insights shed light on a significant aspect of our evolutionary history. They help us understand the struggles our ancestors faced, their survival tactics, and the genetic legacy they've passed on to us. However, it's crucial to remember that these are interpretations based on available evidence. As Eric Trinkhaus, the study leader emphasized, the extent of inbreeding in these populations remains unclear and probably untestable. Such a high frequency of genetic abnormalities reinforces the idea of small inbred human populations. This narrative, while fascinating, also serves as a stark reminder of the power of genetic diversity. It's a testament to the resilience of our species, our ability to adapt, and the intricate tapestry of human evolution. So, what does this tell us about human evolution and our understanding of it? The story of Shujiayao 11 isn't just about one individual or one skull. It's a small piece of a much larger puzzle. The skull's deformities, likely the result of inbreeding, offer a glimpse into the lives of our early human ancestors. They lived in small, isolated communities, where inbreeding was not just possible, but probable. This paints a different picture of human evolution than what we're used to. Rather than large, thriving populations, our ancestors might have existed in smaller groups where genetic diversity was limited. These findings also have significant implications for our understanding of when humans split off from the tree of life. Much of our current knowledge is based on the assumption that early human populations were large and stable. But if inbreeding was common, as the evidence suggests, then these populations may have been much smaller and more isolated than previously thought. This could potentially invalidate many of our current genetic inferences about human evolution. The mutations seen in Shujiao 11 and other fossils might not be the result of natural selection, acting on large populations over time. Instead, they could be the product of inbreeding within small isolated groups. It's important to remember however that this is just one piece of the puzzle. While the evidence from Shujiao 11 and other fossils is compelling, it's still just a glimpse into a vast and complex history. There's so much more to discover, so many more questions to answer. And that's what makes the study of human evolution so fascinating. It's not just about piecing together our past, it's about understanding who we are and where we come from. It's about uncovering the story of us. 
While there are still many questions, the evidence points towards a fascinating and complex history of human evolution. Caught in the thrill of the game? Dive deeper with us. Hit subscribe to be the first to catch our latest content. To our loyal subscribers, your support is invaluable. Your engagement likes, comments, shares, propels us to push the boundaries. So immerse yourself, engage, and inspire us to continually evolve. Thank you for being part of our journey.